Hi and welcome to another video tutorial from CodeReview. In this tutorial, we will examine the SuperPace authentication via Magic Email Link. If you don't know what SuperPace is, let me explain. SuperPace is a service provider that provides access to database, authentication, storage, and even analytics, same as Firebase. We will create a demo app with Flutter to handle our uh, authentication with the SuperPace. <laughs> Creating an account, you need to create a project. For example, I created this project. And you can see that I already was playing a bit with it. So first you go to the settings and you go to the API keys. So for example, uh, this is the API key that you need to use together with the, what you call the I mean, public key. Uh, don't bother to use it. I will just remove the project uh, anyway after this video. So, and then, uh, these are actually the keys that you need to connect your uh, to SuperPage. Now, after that, it's important also to create a new table where you have like the, uh, the, uh, the database. For example, I created this uh, table called the profiles where it has a couple, couple uh, elements of a couple uh, entries. And these entries need to be very careful with it. Some of them, for example, the ID needs to go with the UUID because we will connect it to the authentication user account. And then the rest is up to you. The is that if you go uh, back to the settings and you see the authentication here, you will see the user sign up. So you, you can actually uh, close the sign up for any new users. And uh, this information is not really matters here is that this will, well, the, the site URL does not matter, but the, the expiry limit that maybe you need to uh, extend it a bit because you want to test it but then later on you need to uh, make it less and very important here is that this URL this actually the uh, the domain that we will use for example to target our project in the uh, in Xcode or an Android uh, studio and then here is this the callback and which means that this is the the deep link that will uh, Superbase use to redirect our app to uh, to open the app again. And then you will see also how many services that we can enable. For now, it's already enabled via email and that's using the magic link. So it will send a confirmation for a new user. Otherwise, it will send just a login. And for the rest, uh, let me know below uh, if you like the video later on. I will do more about uh, any authentication for any. And with that, Superbase is ready and we can use it. More an idea about the diagram we will be using. The app will be very simple. So first, we will have a loading screen. The loading screen will check if the user is already logged in. So it will go directly to the home. And if the user is not logged in, uh, then it will go to the login page. And here it will check also after the uh, user uh, put his email. Then yeah, it will check if this is a user is coming back or the the user already used uh, the app and tried to sign out and now it's sign in. Go directly to the home page. Otherwise, it will be considered as a new user and he needs to fill or complete his profile screen, a profile uh, information. And then after that, it will redirect to the home screen. A Flutter project, we need two uh, packages we need to install. It's one is called Superbase Flutter, uh, and that's the main uh, package. And the other one is the encrypted shared preferences. That's up to you, but you will see the benefit of the using this package soon. Main Dart app, uh, what we'll try to uh, first make this an async, and then we will try to bring the widget Flutter binding. And the uh, the first thing we would put is that the initializing for the super base. That's why we put a, a sync. And then this is the URL. That's what I said. This is the ID of your project. And then you will need the unknown key that uh, you need to provide here. And then you can provide it back to anyway. And after that, we will go and initialize one, uh, the first route and the first route uh, and all the routes. Actually, the first route will be splash screen, the login, complete profile and home. All these screens will be uh, stateful screens and then we will need them uh, I mean you can create a placeholder for these pages uh, we create a file called authentication state or auth state this will extend the stateful widget because we need to access to some of the uh, elements inside the stateful widget or actually we need to uh, have this authentication state directly used by any widgets so that's why we created this and then we will extend this this one from super base auth state if you extend this package, then you will have to uh, apply for, um, you need to uh, implement uh, four methods. 
unauthenticated, on error authenticating, and on password recovery or on uh, unauthenticated. So this means that any callback of these uh, unauthenticated from the superbase of the state will be triggered your uh, function and then you can do whatever you want in it. So we will go back first uh, to the variables that we will create. So I will say uh, don't like every time to call a uh, superbase instance deployment. It's really low. So I put it in one variable. Also, I put uh, the new user a key that needs to, for the shared preferences, and also user ID key that uh, two I need to save in the uh, in the storage. Then make a cre uh, create a new instance of shared preferences, and in the authentic authenticated. You need always to bring the in mount, uh, if mounted. So that's what I say. If you if you don't have the, this extends from the stateful widget, you cannot know if the widget is mounted or not. Uh, so whenever it's mounted, we will try to uh, get the new user key, which is this one. And if that new user key equal to true, then we try to navigate to complete profile. It means that it is the first time that is a new user. A new, a new user. And in the, such a case, I will set the new user to false to make sure that for the second time it will be false. And then I will set also the user ID that comes from the session uh, user ID in the in the storage. Otherwise, it will be false. So what I need to do is just go to, uh, directly to the home. Error authenticating, you can implement whatever you want, uh, but make sure to implement it with if mounted. And then uh, mostly you have to redirect, uh, in any case, you have to redirect to the login page because you know already that the authentication that did happen. So, uh, and then uh, any error that you want to show to the user, uh, you can uh, bring this uh, up to you. Now on the password recovery, this is not implemented, but uh, let me know in the comments below. I will try to extend the video for password recovery too. And then uh, on unauthenticated, it will take almost the same what uh, on error authenticating which is going back to the login page and I try to uh, you can put any error also for any reason now what i try to do also to have access to some of the methods that we can do instead of doing it inside any widgets because keeping the logic outside of our, our uh, uh, our widgets so just to keep our widgets a bit clean for example is that the sign in so the sign in will accept an email and then it will have a callback with on success or or in uh, on error that need, if you need to run any functions inside the widget itself and this is a an async function where you can uh, actually get the super uh, super base client off and sign in and you send an email with the auth options and here you redirect and you check if that is not web then we go to this uh, callback if you remember i already discussed this uh, if you want to know where to get this, you need to open your, uh, for example, uh, your project in uh, in Xcode, and you will see that this is the identifier for your for your app, at least for now. And then this is the deep link that will be called in case of the redirection. Now uh, we will have a couple ha uh, handling for uh, what needs to be done in case of the error. So you can uh, trigger the on error callback, or you can put also the scaffold. Um, showing a toast message the same uh, in case of there is no error we just make sure that uh, setting the new user key set to true because now we know that the authentication is happened and it is the first time that the authentication has happened so it's true and then we call on success okay. in case of the sign out we just trigger super client auth and we trigger the sign out and this actually will trigger uh, it will trigger uh, on unauthenticated which means that it will uh, uh, go directly to the login page because now we are uh, we removed uh, the session of the user. So that's actually what I put uh, here a note for it. So the update profile is actually we sending in a profile data from any input fields, which is coming from complete profile. And this will trigger a map. So so you, you need to make a map with all the profile that you need to send. So it's, this uh, function is up to you. But for me, I saw it's more clean to make it here. So we have a name, we have phone number, and we have update at that taking the, the latest date with date of now. And then we have to uh, also the email. The email is always coming from the super client of current session dot email. So you will see that we will use this a lot. 
and then you need to send an ID otherwise Superbase will not understand which one you need to uh, update even though you are targeting any uh, any element then the, uh, we will use super client, uh, Superbase client uh, again and then we will target our table as I said we create a table called the properties and then we put the data in it and then we execute and this is up to the ID it will trigger this to update which element and then here we have uh, only error handling or uh, the navigation that you need to do here we show an error here we go to the home page because uh, the update has happened in case of up, uh, getting the profile itself first uh, what i will need to do is getting the user id key that has been uh, injected in the storage when we uh, authenticate it now why we you need to use that because the if you trigger this uh, from the profile or you're trying to get the session id you cannot get this it will be a null object so it's best to use the uh, share preferences uh, put the user ID on it and then uh, in the storage and then try to trigger it to bring it back. I put here an example how to get the the profile but this has been moved to the uh, to the widget itself which is make it more uh, for me clear uh, a bit. Now this is an only getter to if you want to get an email so as I said you can get the current e uh, user and then you can get the email otherwise it will be empty. On page we will have uh, a simple uh, let's say because the login page will have only uh, uh, one field which is the, the login uh, I guess so what we need to do is just make a stateful widget that will instead of tending from the state it will extend from the auto state because this is the uh, is also stateful widgets and now we will create an uh, editing controller for the email the form key and then uh, we make sure these are they, they are initialized and uh, I guess if I go uh, in the widget itself, you just need to make a form, link the form key to it, make the text form, make a bit of validation to just to make sure that the value will not be uh, null or empty or anything. Uh, so, uh, and then we will have the only press. The only press is meant to be to trigger the login or the sign in. And what we need to do is take in the text email and then uh, send it to the sign in function and you can see that the sign in function is available because uh, we are extending from the auto state any variable here will be or methods will be available in this uh, class or in this widget so uh, we will have a couple validation also not to make, make sure that it's not empty uh, you can extend these validations up to you and then we send an email controller for, with the text and then on success we try to push uh, to the complete profile now this is actually will work in the beginning yes indeed but uh, there is uh, it needs to be uh, implemented that uh, to check if the user is the first time or not and this is what actually what you can do inside the auto state so if I go back to the auto state it's best to do something like this so first we get so first we get the final, uh, we get the, the is a new user key and we check if that new is a new user key because in the beginning it will be um, undefined in the storage so it will be an empty string and uh, so what, what we will try to do is set the, is this new user key to true otherwise set it to false and then on success but this one is after setting this uh, to true or false we will trigger on success and actually this means that setting this to true will navigate to uh, complete profile otherwise it will navigate to home otherwise it will navigate to home because it's not a new user anymore so this is actually the behavior but i put this one commented for now it's just for you to test it out also now go back to the login page we will navigate to complete profile for any way it, me it seems and then we will go with email controller to clear this out because the, it's up to the uh, it's up to the super base to handle the email that we have already sent in case of there is an error with the with the sign in we will try to put any um, toast message and we'll try to print that error message so that's why what uh, I say on success on on error it's really helpful if you put and call back here now that's it for the login page it's more simple now in the complete profile uh, widget or screen what we will have is three fields one it will be pre-filled when you whenever you have the uh, authentication um, whenever you will be authenticated uh, with your email so when you validated your email that you will send 
and then you will have the full name and the phone number and submit it so these are only fields and it's the same as the login page it has only the the widgets here you need to uh, to have the validation the text form they are all the same uh, i guess the only thing is that we need to create uh, trigger the update profile we send the name we send the phone number because they are the only fields that needs to be uh, here and then if we go to update profile as we said so is that uh, the name it will be taken the phone number and then the rest will be provided because uh, taking the date time and uh, the latest date time that now and then taking the email the existing email or taking the existing id now in the uh, in the home page uh, we will extend also a stateful widget from the auto state itself so here what we will try to do is uh, put a couple of variables for the user for the loading and then try to get them so for example we get the profile the naming is going to correct uh, it's only that it's actually only getting the user id key so i would uh, j just rename it so we're getting the user id and then we try to get super uh, super page client profiles Passing the ID, you have to get select. This is how to get any entry from the database. And then you're passing a an user ID, and then you have to mention that it's a single, and then execute. So there are a lot of ways to get the, uh, the data from Superbase database. So you need to uh, see which one is uh, best for you. Then it's more about to check if the data is there, then we uh, assign it to the state of the uh, user. Otherwise we show snack bar, a snack bar where we uh, show the error. And as you can see, the homepage is very simple. You have like the name, the phone number, the email, and then the di uh, date or the updated date, as you can see. Uh, yeah. So you will have the updated date, the email, the phone number, and it's a good a practice to create instead of making the user uh, dynamic is to create a class uh, type for this user. Uh, special in a simulator, we need to know how to uh, test the deep link. So for example, I uh, make it more simple by using URI scheme, and then you trigger in the URI scheme, and then first we need to inject the deep link or we need to inject our uh, deep link management, uh, let's say, in the iOS. So in such a case, we target I, iOS, or with A, it will be Android, and then you say add. In this in such a case, we will uh, trigger, for, for example, with me, it will be the com example, Superbase. This already, I already did this, so it has been uh, done for my uh, project. Now, uh, if I want to uh, test uh, the deep link, it will be the same as uh, such a case. So you will get an email from uh, the email that you have sent from here, and then you need to say uh, npx URI scheme open i uh, iOS, and then you target your uh, deep link. For example, you can see that I redirected to my website, and then uh, the type, and then you have your uh, deep link there. So the our app is launched now. Uh, what we need to do is put in an, an, an actual email because you will receive an uh, uh, magic link. So I will put my testing email and then we send a login. And you can see because I put already this one as a debug so we can disable it, go to the next step. So this will send actually an email to my, uh, to my uh, inbox. So I will just try to copy the link. Now what I will try to do is uh, I will try to open it with a deep link. So you can use the URI, uh, but I'm just using a shortcut here. It's the same as using a URI. And then I'll put the link that I got from via the email. Hit enter. This will open the uh, opening the super base, ask it for open it. We say open, you see the email is coming already. And now we'll try to put uh, some names. So let's say uh, John uh, Doe. And then the uh, phone number will be, I mean, uh, whatever it will be. And then we can submit. And you can see John Doe, this is the phone number, the email, and then this is the time. Now, for example, if I want to, uh, I will log out. It will directly to go to the login. And then let me reload the app. So the, the whole session is removed. And let's say try to log in again. Try to log in again. This is go directly to the home page because we already, uh, we are not uh, the first user. So this is working fine now. Uh, we go directly to the home page. And that's it. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you need more uh, tutorials about uh, the Superbase or any services on Superbase, let me know in the comments below. I will be uh, glad to uh, make any uh, videos. Also, uh, don't forget to subscribe and share if you think this is really helpful. And thank you for watching and see you next time.